Welcome back, folks. I am John Nigerian, and uh, this is three at three for the 21st of September, 2021. Lots of great stuff to cover. And so we're going to dive right in. Let's get started. Um, I thought you might uh, appreciate this because here was one from our blog. Um, this goes out to the, the unusual options activity or UOA crowd. And uh, this was a write-up that the team did on it. Chris Sikora wrote this one up yesterday. I spoke about it on uh, Worldwide Exchange with Brian Sullivan. And here it was that on last Friday, um, the uh, uh, 17th, we saw 60,000, that's 6 million share equivalent folks in the IWM of the 218 puts changing hands. Now those puts yesterday traded for as much as 550. As you can see, they were bought for approximately $2. And so you had a uh, wonderful profit of uh, 60,000 times, let's see, about $3 and call it 40 cents or something like that. Uh, 60,000 times, times 100. Yeah, that's a really good day for whoever uh, was the instigator uh, and the initiator of that trade. It also worked out pretty good for us because um, we were able to take some nice fat profits. And this is the same heat seeker that we use to see unusual activity in stock options and futures. It saw unusual activity in puts in this case. And just today, <laughs> the Uber trade from September 7th, so let's see, uh, right after Labor Day, I guess, September 7th, we saw the week, the uh, 42 calls uh, trading very actively that expire this Friday, the 24th of September. They were bought for 84 cents. Well, as you can see, they already traded for over $3 today. <laughs> Bang. And that meant a nice profit uh, of uh, more than a double, obviously. Um, was it a triple? Well, yeah, it was pretty close. Anyway, um, very nice profit in this Uber trade and a lot of activity in Uber as the shares move higher throughout today's session. Now let's take a look at Lucid. Why? Because again, last Friday, we told you about Lucid. When the stock was 23 bucks, it was up 10%. A lot of folks you know, questioning, oh, do you really want to jump on a trade that's already up 10%. Yeah, if somebody buys a lot of calls, which they did, 9,000 calls is 900,000 share equivalent. That's just shy of a million. And of course, when somebody's controlling nearly a million shares of stock, you can bet we want to be part of that trade. Well, the stock was just shy of 23 at that time. I brought this one up on the halftime report last Friday. There it is screaming higher today. And as you see, whoops, sorry. There it is uh, up to $27.40, a 13, nearly 14% gain like that. Bang. Now, one more, and that is URA from yesterday. So a uranium play, URA, bullish call buying. 23.88 was where the stock was. They were buying November 26 calls. We are not out of this one yet, but it's no longer 23.88. Now it's 24.57, making a nice 3% move to the upside. Do we make an assault on that 28 to 30 level? Seems like we might. Uranium's been a very hot sector. Keep an eye on URA. We are still in it, folks. 
Now let's start with some fresh meat, shall we? EA. So EA, bullish call buying stocks, 126 bucks a share, 126.86, in fact, EA. Just checking to see where she is now. Um, you see 126.75, little bit higher than that. They're buying the uh, 129 calls in EA. And the market's been all over the place today, like a heartbeat. This one's been down pretty much all day, a little over two and a half percent. And uh, it opened at, let me see, it opened at 130, traded down from there, and it's trading near the lows of the day, right where we established this trade. Like the upside here, there is the stock 126.75. And as you guys also see, it's got a um, volume of about 2.27 million shares to give you an idea, whoops, of uh, where do we see, let's see, that's uh, already more than the 10-day average. So worth noting, uh, look at that range too on that. Uh, the 110 to 150 is the range for the year. Um, we are pretty much right in the middle of that range. So somebody betting on some good stuff to come in uh, EA uh, between now and uh, expiration. Bang. Now let's take a look at BBY. And what I want to show you is not only the unusual activity that we see in BBY, but how I'm playing it. Because frequently I'll describe it, but I want to make it even easier for you guys to follow. So in BBY, they bought 9,700, which is about 970,000 share equivalent. They have traded more than that now of BBY December 115 calls. So again, the uh, time frame December, BBY, they're buying the 115 calls. Stock has moved up slightly. I'll show you how slightly. It was 106.98 just a little bit ago. Um, and did I buy the 115 calls? No, but let's look at what they were. The 115 calls, this is uh, just from a little bit ago. They were bid $3.50, offered at $3.70. If you look at the last line on that screen, you can see that uh, that's where the actual trading was. And they were the bid size was 239 contracts, the A size, the ask size, 152. And they're trading um, at about a delta of 35 which means they'll move about 35 cents for every dollar the stock moves. If you want something that's going to move uh, a lot closer to the stock, you have to be closer to the strike, which is why I always talk about um, being where uh, I want to be, for instance, one time at the money and then sell out of the money against it, one-to-one. -one. So if I buy the 105 calls, which are about a $2 in the money, give or take, I would pay about $8 for those. You can see that they're 790 bid offered at 820. Pick a number. If you want to say I have to pay the offer 820, go ahead. If you sell the others for 370 against the 820 purchase, um, that would be um, a $5 or thereabouts, uh, just under $5 that you'd be paying for a, a $10 spread. I don't like that. So what I did instead, folks, was um, I was buying these calls um, for approximately $8 and selling the others for about $5.50. Um, I could also sell the upside call for $3.50 or whatever. Um, I like being in a one-to-one -one trade far more uh, than I like being in the out-of-the-money calls, even though I'm bullish on this particular stock. I want uh, time working for me. I want decay working for me. And I can do both of those by addressing uh, this as a spread. Again, there's BBY. Now let's take a look at FCX. I'm going to show you the same thing here. So FCX, December 33 calls. So I'm going to take a quick look over here and see the Actual price right now, 3059, it's where it's trading. So literally same price practically as what you see on the screen. And look at the number of calls they traded. 36,000 calls. That is 3.6 million share equivalent. 
Look at where those December 33 calls are trading. $2, 194 bid offered at 201. Just to make it easy, I'm saying $2. On the other hand, if I buy the 30s and I pay the offer, $3.30, I'm paying the differential between the offer that I paid, 330, and the price of the calls that I'm selling, $2. Thus, I'm in a $3 spread, the differential between $30 and 33, the strike that I'm selling, I'm paying $1.30 for something that could be worth $3. If it is worth $3, I make $1.70 profit on a 130 investment. So you get the idea that I'm um, getting um, a nice return on my invested dollars, and it is slightly in the money already. 66 cents worth are in the money or intrinsic value for those $3.30 kind that I'm buying. And again, it can go to $3. I have no upside risk in this trade, and I'm risking less money, in fact, $1.30 versus if I bought these out of the money calls for $2, spending 70 cents less, and I've moved the odds into my favor. This is the sort of thing that we teach you um, both in our live conferences and if you choose to uh, through our uh, educational apps that we've got uh, through Market Rebellion. There's Freeport. And as you see, volume today, 28.4 million. Um, that is approximately, and it's up to 29.6 million now. That is uh, basically 1.1, I'm sorry, 10.1 million shares over the average of what it's traded the last 10 days. That's a big surge in volume in the stock and obviously um, a big surge in these calls where 36,000 changed hands. Want to learn more about how we do that? Come to the trading conference out in October, October 1st and 2nd. It's in Las Vegas. You want to get out to a fun place where it's nice and warm. Las Vegas is that fun place. I was just there a week ago. It was 105 degrees, but it's a dry heat. <laughs> but for two days, we have a conference going on the 1st and 2nd of October. You wrap it around however you want. Come out Thursday, stay till Monday, whatever. This is Friday, the 1st of October through uh, Saturday, the 2nd of October. You go to marketrebellion.com forward slash events. We have a few bronze tickets left. No other tickets are remaining at this time, but you can get a bronze ticket still. Um, pick them up because they're going to be gone fast, folks. And you can also attend virtually. So if you're somebody that either for health reasons, cost, you don't want to travel out to Vegas or all the bronze tickets are gone and you don't have a choice, virtual. Come on in and join us virtually. That will be streaming the entire time. You will get a copy of every presentation as well. Make sure you check it out, marketrebellion.com forward slash events. That's marketrebellion.com forward slash events. Questions? Send them to me at John. Nigerian without an H at J O N N A J A R I A N. Bertrand Thompson, he's a regular uh, question inquirer, asker on our shows. His handle is at B E R T underscore T H O M P S O N underscore three. All right, Bertrand, he says P L T R, big volume this Friday, 27, 28, 29, and 30 calls. Any hope? For these to be in the money by Friday. Yes, there's always hope. Um, but make sure you keep your discipline, just like I would say, keep your discipline, PLTR, um, for any of our trades, taking profits, cutting losses. You've got to do both. We saw unusual call buying last Thursday and Friday in uh, PLTR. They were buying um, the September 29 calls. 23,000 times last Thursday. Is there a shot they go in the money? Yes, there's a shot. Um, is it likely? Mm, you know, uh, you tell me what the Fed's going to do tomorrow and I'll tell you. These The stock's trading 2677. Um, I think that you should exercise discipline. So if rather than hope, which is not a strategy, I would say 
Um, do not base your investments on hope, Bertrand. Second question, PSFE, play safe. Michael, whose handle is at plaid stripe pipe, P-L-A-I-D-S-T-R-I-P-E, P-I-P-E. Anything going on with the high volume of out the money calls in PSFE? Not today, sir. No, not today. Um, we don't have high volume of calls in PlaySafe today. We've had it in the past. Um, let me see what the last uh, update we had on PlaySafe. I'll do that for you, Michael. P um, S F E PlaySafe. The last one we had, Michael, was the first of uh, September, um, the week before uh, we had uh, Labor Day. They were buying the September 10 calls. Those have now expired. The stock is, I believe, still beneath that level. Let me see. PSFE. Yeah, it's $7.86. So call it close to eight bucks. Anything going on? Not recently. Last one was uh, 20 days ago. And those have since expired out of the money. All right. You have questions, send them in at John Nigerian. That's J O N. My dad was the guy with the H. Um, and I'll answer those questions. You can also get a lot of great information about the various courses that we offer by going to marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. You can get started with education. You can get started with subscriptions. You can get a coach. You can get a mentor. Stock, options, futures, cryptocurrencies at marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. Folks, I appreciate you uh, tuning in. That is our crypto. Uh, if you're somebody who is a qualified investor, you can check that out. Minimum investment, however, is $250,000. Market Rebellion um, is a proud uh, partner in this crypto fund with a bunch of our great traders. And it's www.rebellioncapitalcrypto.com. Thank you for joining me today. I will be on the halftime report tomorrow. Look forward to speaking with you guys for my 60 second workout video, the daily crypto bite, and then, of course, halftime, noon Eastern tomorrow. I'll see you then.